everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and I just wanted to go over a quick iMovie tutorial on adding graphics using the picture-in-picture -picture effect inside of iMovie. And what we're trying to do here, as you can see, we've added a button to our video here, which is an overlay on the picture-in-picture -picture here. And a lot of people have had some issues with doing this properly due to some of the weird uh, cropping features inside of iMovie. Uh, iMovie and so I wanted to show you how to do that I'm going to delete this for a moment and we're going to pull in a graphic straight out of the graphics package here and let's see we'll pull one out of here we'll just grab this blue button here by now and we're going to drag it right inside of iMovie and drop it into our video here we're going to choose picture in picture now, when we do so, you'll notice immediately that we've got a little bit of an issue here. Uh, it's cutting off parts of the image. And normally what you would do is you would go into the crop tool. And we'd choose crop. And we would adjust the crop. Problem is that it's not going to let you do that. It's going to let you get smaller, but it's not going to let you get bigger. Okay, now the reason for this is Apple chose to do things in a very odd way my personal opinion is this was very stupid on their part sorry apple but uh you put make some great products but this was very stupid um what you need to do with this is you need to have graphics that are the same aspect ratio as your video so in our case here we have a high definition video that we're dealing with so we need to have graphics that match that aspect ratio the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so in order to do that what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go into uh, Photoshop or some other alternative such as uh, uh, pixeler.com or GIMP or Pixelmator whatever it happens to be but in this case we're gonna go into Photoshop and you can see what I've done here is I've brought in this graphic and I've created a new image that is 1280 by 720 which is HD resolution and it's also HD 16 by 9 aspect ratio now it doesn't have to be this large you know it could be half this 640 by 360 whatever it just has to be that aspect ratio and the way that I did this if we turn this off here is I took our same graphic this blue button here in this case I brought it into our pre-made 1280 by 720 uh, image and I just resized it as such okay so that it fit inside of this aspect ratio and I just save this out again as a PNG and we'll save it to the desktop we'll just call it button I'll hit save we'll replace that and now what will happen is if we bring that same graphic into uh, iMovie here we'll go to the desktop grab our button there it is if we bring it into iMovie now drop it into iMovie right here do picture in picture and we'll see now that our graphic works and we can move it around but that's the way that you have to use graphics inside of uh, iMovie which uh, you know like I said is kind of a bad move uh, most things in iMovie are really intuitive and work very well uh, so I'm not sure why they happen to do this this way because it's not a very smart way to do it uh, fortunately in other programs such as uh, Final Cut Pro Premiere uh, it's a lot easier they don't mess around with this you should be able to drag any graphic in and place it anywhere you want but for some reason they chose to do it this way uh, but that's how you get around that and make sure that your graphics work hope this helped if you have any other questions please let me know